Hi, thanks for watching Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com on how to buy a home. Well, we spoke about lending, we spoke about how to find a realtor, and also um, the different types of loans and what lender to choose from. Uh, Pre-approval, pre-qualification, hopefully you're pre-approved at this point and you're ready to go look at some property. You um, speak with your realtor and they will um, specifically look exactly what you want if you know exactly what you want and know where you want to live. You want to live, live just in Avila Beach. Well then they can pull up everything in Avila Beach that's available up to your price range if you'd like. Um, say you want to live in maybe three different areas. Well then they can pull up all three of those areas. Shell Beach, uh, Pismo Beach, Avila Beach, Cambria, because Shell and Pismo are the same. <laughs> so anyway, um, if, if you want that they can do that. Um, four bedroom or no less than three bedroom but up to five bedroom no less than two bath or you want three bath then they can pull that up they can pull 2,000 square feet or more or unless maybe you don't want to clean 2,000 square feet you only want a little place that's only you know 1,200 square feet or 1,000 to 1,500 they can specifically put this in and pop out the information and send it to you then you can look through it, decide which ones you want to look at, call your realtor up and say, hey, I'd like to look at this, 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 and this, and set up the time and go out and look at some property. This is the fun part of real estate. Say she sends you, or he sends you, uh, 25 properties, you want to look at all of them. Do not be shy. Go look at all 25 properties, because the more you're solid on that decision, the better you'll feel through this whole process. And if you feel iffy at all, once you have a contract and you have a house under contract and you don't feel good about it, well, that's because you didn't do enough uh, homework on what else is available. So make sure you shop, you know, shop, don't be shy. Unless a house hits you like a brick when you walk in the door and you just love it and you can't live without it, then great. Um, buy it. Write the contract. Um, and what I suggest is when you do the, do that, when you do write the contract, um, ask your realtor to pull comps, sold comps, pending comps, and available comps specifically to what that criteria of that specific house that you're going to be writing a contract on and what it sold for last time it sold. How much did these people buy this house for? They can get that information relatively easily through our MLS system that we have. So, um, all right, go look at property. We'll be getting into um, how to write a contract. Um, and what, what, what's the contract all about is our next step. Have fun shopping. Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.